back to Shay's Way. Yeah! Today, I am going to a party. So I'm going to do a little like makeup look for you. I have some new products I really wanted to try. So I thought I'd come on here and do kind of like a semi-formal makeup tutorial because that is kind of hard when you're like not too into makeup but you also want to like dress up for something but also keep it kind of cash it's hard like you don't know what to do so i'm here to help you guys out with that and let's get a little semi-formal up in this yeah i really wanted to try out my new jeffree star concealer look at her she cute so i'm gonna go ahead and just do my face you guys can watch and follow along let's go i'm starting out using my wet and wild photo filter foundation um i've so far been really liking it it's not the best quality i would say and there's definitely been more smoother foundations but for my skin it's been really good and it's got this fun little like stick it's kind of cute so i just like kind of start by putting it all over my cheeks whoa hi that was a lot but it's kind of translucent-y. I don't know how to explain that. Wait. Translucent-y? What? Basically, it's not full coverage, which is what I want out of the foundation because I have freckles. And I don't want to cover up my freckles because people are freaking painting fake freckles on their face, getting fake freckle tattoos, um, getting henna tattoo fake freckles. They are just going above and beyond for fake freckles. And I, like, have my own freckles, so... I'll, I want to work that angle, you know? I want to have the freckles in my life. This is the foundation that you kind of have to set really quickly because if you keep it on too long without setting it, it sort of like spreads out unevenly on your skin in a way. Like, it gets kind of patchy, which I don't love that. I don't actually like that at all about that. That's what I don't approve about this foundation. But otherwise, it's pretty good. is very buildable so i'm going to go on with the second layer just a tiny bit on the cheeks and then a lot on the chin where i kind of have a breakout y'all breakouts are freaking annoying whoever invented that not friendship man hi um blend <gasps> oh my lanta y'all i just got makeup on my shirt okay my hope is that jeffree star concealer mix as well with this because my tart one doesn't really mix too well with it I'm not a fan of the mixation circumstances but jeffree stars is supposed to be the best formula on the market is what he said so let's see if it can mix with a drugstore foundation i'm gonna go in with concealer yay 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 Amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and cover some acne. See if this is super good coverage or not. Matches the foundation well though. I love that. My biggest thing with concealer is how well it covers up what it's supposed to cover. Because that's what concealer is. It conceals. Gloss. Hello. Jeffrey, hi. <gasps> we love it. Oh, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. It's kind of separating. Like, it's separating. I don't know. Jeffrey. What? I don't appreciate it. Okay, that's better. Okay. I was just putting too little on. That's better. Uh, never mind. Okay, well, we did our best. What the frick? Why is it still red? Do you guys see redness? I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. You know what, it's fine. We're gonna leave it, we're gonna see how the final product goes. Oh my God, I need to set. Y'all, I need to set it, I need, need to set it. Oh my frick. Let's go. Okay, by the way, I'm using the Tarte Translucent Setting Powder. Solvents always tell you the straight truth. They never lie to you like mirrors do, mirrors lie to you. My someone is telling me that it's still red. I'm sorry, what? Um, no. 
This, I'm telling you, my tart can get it in like two strokes of taking out the color. The whole point of concealer is to conceal the redness. I'm kind of mad about it. I don't know. I think Tarte's still winning right now. Let's see how well it does on the under eyes. Because the under eyes, I have a lot of problems with Tarte. It kind of like messes with my, not like Tarte actually, more like Wet n Wild. I have beef with Wet n Wild when it comes to under eyes because it kind of like spreads out and then like removes itself from its like job. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And it's like, I don't know. I just feel like it. And I'm like, that's not cool. So. Let's see how well this mixes. I do like how it blends really well with the foundation. Oh, and it really spreading. Like I don't, I think less is actually more with this. No, it's kind of still doing the same thing like that Tarte was doing. But a little less maybe. I don't That's know. like totally matching your skin color though. It is, it's very matching my skin color. My Tarte one does not. I need to get a different shade. use it for the full face next time not even do wet and wild foundation because wet and wild cannot handle their concealer sometimes it's just has struggled in its life and like we understand life problems but like oh i actually like that a lot <gasps> Hello. <laughs> okay so while it did not really cover some redness in some areas that's not too much of a problem because i can always build that up i have to set this right away let me explain Love how it goes on the under eyes. I'm obsessed with that. Probably could marry it. Don't know. But, <coughs> hold on, <laughs> dying. <laughs> with the Wet n Wild, the problem was why I was so mad about it not covering the redness is because of how much Wet n Wild just cannot interact with other concealers that I use. So every time I try to like put more on, it comes off and it like, like actual like makeup comes off. Like I'm using makeup remover. I'm like, what is this? What is this formula? So like, I love Wet n Wild like that, but like for my face, but like, honey, fix your problems with mixing with other products. So I was mad about it. And then Tarte kind of worked it better. And then I set it and it's a little better, but it's still a bit showing through. I think it'll be okay though. It'll be good if we put a cute Snapchat filter on and then we put like a, um, face tune on my photo will be good. What are we doing now? What are we doing? We are doing eyeshadow. Woo! Yeah. I'm going to be using the Morphe 39S, such a gem palette. Um, love this palette so freaking much. It's so good. It's beautiful. It's become my new favorite palette because the James Charles one was my favorite palette, but now it's not. It is so pretty. This is why it is my favorite. Look at all the pink. Oh, Malanta. Am I right? I am right. Oh, I'm gonna drop this. Oh no. So I'm gonna be focusing on these three shades right here. One, two, three, and their names are Posh Boss, Marvelous, and Pink Prize. And that is because I wanna do a very simple light look for the party. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Don't wanna do that. Don't wanna freak out the parents. That would be scary. We're gonna be taking a big crease brush here she is, um, didn't wash her, so she's a little pink, but that's okay. And this is my Elder Wand brush from Storybook Cosmetics, yeet! I'm going to take Posh Boss, and I am going to apply that in my crease. Huh, I don't know why, but I expected it to be more gray. Maybe it's a nice little pink on my brush. Kind of pretty color though, digging that, okay. That, so I'm making it a bit smaller today of a blend. I'm not blending it out too high because we don't want to really show the color. We just want it to accent our features today. Today, it is a party. We are not clubbing. We are not, um, I don't know. We're not going to rager here. We're going to a graduation party with a lot of friends and family. So we do not want to scare them away with our makeup. I know, sad, right? Always be yourself, guys. But sometimes tone it down with the makeup is okay. You don't have to always be so expressive because, you know, just show people you can be a relaxed human as well. You can respect how they feel too. There are ways to express yourself while also respecting other people's values and like feelings, you know? You don't have to be like, you know what, this is who I am. Y'all better embrace it or you can all go eat a turtle. No, you can be like, you know what, this is who I am, but you don't have to get the full effect of sparkliness because you just, you know, first impressions, yo, you just wanna make pals and like they will eventually get to know the full perfect you. But at first, just like come down just a tiny bit and be like, hi, nice to meet you. Um, how's it going, you know, if that makes sense. Okay, next I'm taking Harry Potter wand 
right here. And this is my more of a flat angled soft brush. And I'm going to be taking the shade Pink Prize and I will be applying it to my inner corner and main part of my eyelid as well. That's pretty. Ooh, we love that. Mm. Hi. Okay, I'm going to be taking the same shade Posh Boss and I'm going to be I'm going under my eye with it, and I'm going to also put it a bit on the waterline, but not too much actually, because I'll explain that later. I'm just going to be putting a little bit. Next, I'm taking this more tinier brush. It's a little flatter, a little thicker, and I'm going to be taking Marvelous, and I'll be applying that on the inner corner of my eye. I'm applying it quite lightly today because again, we do not need to be super crazy with it. And so I will not be doing too much with it. Okay, I don't want too much. And I'm gonna cover it up a little bit with some smokier liner in a way. So here's the trick. Here's the tea, guys. Y'all ready for this? So if you have blue eyes, I don't know if you should do this on brown eyes, but if you have lighter eyes, take a sort of dark brownish, but for this look, since it's kind of pink and gray, take a more grayish brownish color. But basically just take a nice dark color. I'm gonna be using from the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. I'm gonna be using the shade Dark Side. Hello, open up, sister. Okay dark side right here and I'm going to just apply this on the end like the very edge of my eyelids sort of like an eyeliner because I like eyeliner but I don't really like eyeliner at the same time I appreciate it but I don't really use it instead I like to do a little bit eyeshadowy just to kind of darken it up but I want it smoky looking I don't want it to be like a straight line and I think it just takes too long to smoke out eyeliner, it just, it takes an effort and I don't feel like making that effort sometimes. So, instead I took a darker eyeshadow that kind of matches my eyeshadow look and I go dark around this area and then I kind of try to not wing it out but I, whoof, I floof it out. I swoosh it. See, ready? Three, two, one, swoosh kind of go with the flow of the eyeshadow. And it makes its own little wing in a way, but it like really accentuates. Oh, hi Fallout, how are you doing? Um, What is that about? No. Get rid of that Fallout. Oh no, that's not good. I might have to fix that later. It's okay, we'll fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix it, okay. Um, We have Fallout coming from the Morphe palettes. I feel like a lot of Morphe palettes have fallout. Actually, maybe like all of them, but that's not too bad. It's not too much of a problem. And then I do it on the under eye and I really get it on the waterline like an eyeliner, but I don't bring it all the way because that is for the highlight. See how that kind of makes your eye look boop, pop a bit more? Like the blue eye, I feel like it really pops. So now I'm going to do that on the other eye. This kind of gives you that eyeliner look without the goth part of it, you know? Like, you don't have to look like, I don't know, an e-girl or something. Oh no! I'm gonna go ahead and fix that follow with a beauty blender, just kind of rubbed away. There we go. Much better. Now I'm going to highlight my inner corners. Um, I forgot to bring a highlight brush down, so we're just gonna use this regular brush from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. It comes with it, and I feel like it'll work. Yeah, it can fit. I'm going to be taking, what is it called? Okay, I'm gonna be, ugh. okay. I'm going to be highlighting my inner corner with the shade Making Bank right here. So let's go ahead and make some bank. Now you can go crazy with inner corner highlight. Like inner corner highlight is such a look, you guys. You have no clue. It's so good. Okay, inner corner is highlighted and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Okay, you guys, the eyeshadow is 
pop on some mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's like, hello. I love this mascara, but one thing about it is it comes off too much on the brush because it gets a little clumpy. So I just take a little tissue and I kind of blot it just a bit, just so I don't have like lashes that look like insect legs. Oh no. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and mascara it up. Ooh, those lashes are popping. All right, you guys, the eye look is done. Let's just finish up the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly bronze my face. Also, I'm using my Tarte Perk Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. That was a mouthful. Cosmetics. This is in the shade Haze. It is my blush. It is my favorite blush. It's very natural looking. And I'm just gonna be very quick and dust that on everywhere. Because I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh my god, that's too much blush. That's too much blush. I looked very blushy. Okay. Get some on the chin, guys. Get some on the forehead. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We are good on that. I think I have a much. If you ever put too much blush on, take a beauty blender and kind of just pat it out. That's better. Now we're going to do highlighter. I am using my NYX highlighter in the shade Powdered Sugar. And I'm taking this little brush that I got from BH Cosmetics and I love it for highlighting. Love it. You just kind of like yeet it. Oh, so good. Love this highlighter because the, the powder comes off so easily that I don't... Whoops! Eh, not oops. That I don't really have to fight it, you know? And then I put a bit too much on, but that's like, okay. We love a good highlighter. Is there ever too much highlighter? I don't know. Personally, I don't think so. And then I'm gonna do my nose. I really wanna get my nose going. I wanna snatch that. Okay, a little bit here, maybe even, because, yeah. And then lips. Okay, we're good on that. And now, I'm just going to be taking my Urban Decay High Shine Pink Lip Gloss. It is in the shade SPL, I think. It's Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. Basically, it looks like this, and you can get it in any Urban Decay store. Or online. I'm just gonna hit that on my lips. Okay. And that's it, you guys. That is my look. I really got, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, let me know in the comments below and recreate it if you want and tag me in it if you do. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell. I'm going super fast because I got to yeet out of here. So do all those three things. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.